Hello, my name is Ryan Ismerlian, and I am the conveying product engineer here at Novatech. I am here to talk to you about rail car and loading systems, or RCU. Rail car and loading is very integral to many plastic manufacturing facilities. It is the transport of raw plastic resin from a rail car, a rail line, and moving it from there to an on-site local storage bin or silo. The way we're able to accomplish that is via a vacuum and pressure dual blower uh, setup, where we're able to generate vacuum from one blower and then pressure for another. In order to operate that kind of system, we need to make use of an airlock that separates the two different conveying approaches. If you look to my left over here, we have what we call a rail car cyclone. And this is where that material separation happens. We have raw plastic material run in to the cyclone where it's being separated from the air that's gener air generated vacuum. It'll, the material will travel down into this surge hopper where it'll actually come and meet with the airlock. From there, the material will go through the airlock separate itself from the vacuum side and dispense it into the pressure side where we, we enter this blow through adapter. From here, we are receiving pressure from the pressure side of the rail car and loader and pushing it to the silo destination. Now, I mentioned that this unit uses a dual blower system. We do that in order to give our systems more flexibility. Not every system can be the same line size or uh, have the rail car and cyclone in the same location. Every facility is different. So by having these two separate blower and motor systems, we are able to mix and match. Um, so for instance, we offer rail car and loaders that are four inch OD line operation, four inch pipe, five inch OD, five inch pipe, and six inch OD. Now we can combine any of those line sizes with, on the vacuum side with any line size on the pressure. So you can actually have a mix of let's say four inch OD with a five inch OD pressure side. Or you can do a six inch OD vacuum side with a four inch OD pressure side. Now that all is determined by where this cyclone is gonna be located in reference to the silo or in reference to the rail car. Typically, our units are used for dilute phase conveying. So we are operating our vacuum side around 12 inches of mercury with a relief at 13, and the pressure side around six PSI, eight PSI relief. Now, that gives us a good balance in operation across all line sizes. We do have offerings that have slightly elevated pressures for increased throughputs or for elongated distances on the pressure side. But that is based on application. On the vacuum side, we do not increase vacuum levels, but we may tune back vacuum levels in order to achieve a proper balance to allow this rail car system to operate in a continuous performance. A way of balancing vacuum throughput in, pressure throughput out. 